Dolls, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sujay Doll here, and today I have a look for you guys. It's been forever, but I have an explanation because I always do. Um, I just been not feeling very motivated. I go ahead and start recording, but I never edit, and it's just horrible because just with timing, if I do record and I don't edit on the same day, I like essentially will not go back to that video. If that makes sense. Like I just kind of lose motivation. I have to be like. Okay, I'm recording and I'm gonna edit and I'm gonna upload. Like, I have to go in a sequence like that. So, the most time that I can squeeze in recording and be able to have editing done, it's kind of slim to none with school and the baby and just, uh, my YouTube has been getting neglected, but don't worry, I've been working on it. A lot of amazing things that you'll be hearing about very, very soon. But today we're actually here for this nice little look over here. I loved it. I love the way it turned out. Like this is just, I really hope you guys enjoy it. So, you wanna know how I got this look? Please continue watching and be sure to subscribe so you can join the family and get in the, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when your girl uploads a video, hopefully more than once a month. <laughs> okay, I know it's not funny, so go ahead and if you wanna know how I got this look, please continue watching and I'll see you inside my bum life. Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. So you're Danny Doll here. And today I just kind of wanted to do a curtain like um, routine of my full face of makeup. Um, I just really want to recreate this eye look that I did on my sister. If you guys saw the post on Instagram, that look, I really loved the way it turned out on her. And I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a tutorial on how exactly I did that. And you'll also get a kind of a a tutorial on like my full face routine so this will be like when I'm going all the way out and just kind of being a little extra with everything so and you also get to see the new products that have been working for me in order to get this routine and I'll go ahead and talk about certain things that I've been trying out and how they've been working for me um, so I went ahead and I already have a moisturized skin that's really clean so we're gonna go ahead and jump into my eyebrows. Um, so as you guys can know, you can tell that my eyebrows are very um, sparse. And it's only if I'm talking kind of low, my son is in bed, I just put him to bed, and I really was itching to record. So first I'm gonna go in with, um, go ahead and start with my eyebrows. And to start, I've been using the Falsies Pump It Up Mascara. And this is in the shade, like an off-brown type of shade. So I'll go ahead and actually brush my eyebrows out with it, um, just to make sure that they're like kind of um, sticky and like it kind of makes my eyebrows kind of more a, a bit fuller appear a bit fuller so that's what I'm going to go ahead and just brush it on and I really want to focus on kind of on the tail because that's where I'm having a disappearing act I literally been taking so much time in between when I go ahead and get my eyebrows threaded so this has been like maybe like two months of not having it threaded so So I go ahead and be very generous with the coat and just kind of put my eyebrows on um, the shape that I want them to be. And as you guys can see, it already made like a really big difference. So this is what I kind of usually do when I'm um, not wearing a lot, of, I'm not wearing makeup at all, but I want my eyebrows to kind of look like I have eyebrows and that I'm not completely just a bald face. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same to the other eye. And I brush up and then down at my arch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a flat concealer brush and I'm gonna be going back to, you guys always see me use this and this is the Ruby Kisses um, by Kiss, so the Kiss products line and this is in the shade Caramel. I'm gonna go ahead and define my eyebrows. you guys think that I just hate tree I love recording but like um editing is such a drag for me like I just I don't know like it's just my least favorite part like I have so many content 
that I have created and I just have not edited it. But like, um, I'm one of those people, if I don't get it, if I record and I don't get it edited in the same, like if I don't start editing as soon as I'm done recording, I don't get back to it. Like I end up just like, ugh, I hated that. There's this, this and that. Whereas I'm so motivated and I just wanna record and get a video out for you guys, I do that. But when like, let's say I record very late and then I'm really tired and I don't get to edit, like you, that video never sees the light of day. So you guys can see when I'm doing the a top part, I just go in a continuous line. And this one always ends up a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do another continuous line. Like I'm not lifting. I'm just going and wiping it all the way down. I don't know if I want to do face first or eyes first. Oh, I think I'm actually gonna do eyes first because I think that's what I did with my sister. So we can go ahead and do eyes first. So what I'm gonna go ahead is actually bring my concealer, what I have at the palm here, and just go ahead and set or um, use that as a primer. And actually over top of that, I'm gonna be using the Fundamental Eyeshadow Primer from Collab. I love this because it's so nice and sticky, but the fact that it's sticky, you kinda of have to work with it really, really fast but I think it allows products to really stick well too. Okay, I went ahead and found what I'm looking for. I'm gonna be using the Mix Cosmetics because that is a um, Cosmetics palette. That's what I used on my sister. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use. And the first shade that I'm gonna go in, I legit don't have the paper anymore, but I think this is, this thing was with Redbone. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, well, firstly, I think I'm gonna take, oh, I don't know what shade this is. I'm gonna go ahead and take that to blend, um, to kind of set everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, shade right here and I'm gonna be using that as my transition color. I'm doing like a really blown out brown smoky look. So I'm bringing it to the outer corners, really packing that in. And then whatever is left, we're gonna be using to kind of bring into the center. tapered brush and I'm gonna go ahead and go and jump into the shade right here this is like a dark brick almost chocolatey type of brown so I'm gonna really be packing that and that's really gonna give me the smoke show that I need this is gonna be my main color. So I'm gonna go back to this shade and use a fluffy brush to go ahead and blend everything out. place so if you guys could see that um, right there that's what I'm gonna be using to go ahead and deepen everything out using a tiny little Morphe brush this is the M562 and I'm gonna 
I don't want the black to really take over. I just want that smokiness to be accentuated. Glitter glue from Too Faced. And I'm going to be using that to carve out the center. using the Midnight Cowboy and I'm actually gonna put that I'm gonna put that just for a little bit of extra effect on the metal I went ahead and put on some leading lashes in the style Monroe. Go ahead and prime my face. I'm going to be using the um, Mary Kay Foundation Primer, which also has sunscreen in it. I like it because it really blurs out and it kind of gives that Smashbox effect. I think you guys have seen me use this in my channel before. And just kind of around everywhere else, I'm going to be putting a little bit of the velvet. Um, this is the Becca Velvet Blurring. I'm going to put some of this kind of on my nose and my cheeks. Just for extra blur. Like that. For foundation, I'm going to be using my current fave, and this is the um, Shameless Foundation, and the shade I have is Deep R590. I've been loving this foundation. It's legit just amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the back of my hand, and I'm going to be using a blender, and this is the Pure Blender. I've been loving the, the NYX one. It's a lot cheaper than this. Um, but my dog like literally ate it into pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pounce that onto my skin. I love this foundation because it's super um, light coverage, but it lasts all day and it goes on really, really matte. And I feel like um, it has such a great shade. Um, for me, it's such a great shade. Matte. I just been loving it. I use it like legit every day that I wear makeup. I'm going to be using the Bright Future Gel Serum 
and this is shade 19 Truffle, and this is from Sephora Collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that to highlight and contour. I'm gonna go ahead and use that same blender to go ahead and set or blend everything out. Now, to set the under eye, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier in um, medium deep. Together with my deepest dark um, pro longwear press powder, I'm just gonna tap the excess off of this. so you guys can really pick it up more. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and brush all the excess product underneath for my eye before I go completely cast it, cast it ready. and get into the contouring process. I'm also gonna be using the same palette that I did use on my eyes. I'm gonna be mixing these two shades right here. I know they look very light on camera, but they're really nice. They're really good when it comes to contouring. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of dip it mostly in this one and then dip it in this for more of that red contoury look. And now it doesn't give me a really harsh contour, but it kind of gives me a bronzing effect, which is what I'm looking for. This is the shade Russet from La Femme Blushes because this is the only, I have a bunch of collection of these blushes, but I only kind of gravitate about around two or three that really work for my skin tone. So this is the shade Russet, it's a burnt orange. And I'm just gonna, really kind of melt my contour and my highlighter together on those apples of my cheeks and that literally allows to bring more colors into my face. I'm just, you guys can see, I'm just dabbing it. I'm just gonna go over the chin a little bit. For 
highlighter today, I'm gonna be using my Oldie Better Goodie, and this is the Lorac Tantalizer. And this, I do not have to shade anymore in here or whatever. Somebody asked about what, what, it, what shade it was, and it doesn't have it anymore. I love this though, it's been here for four years, and I always go to it because it just works with any glow that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Lock It Up All Day Setting Mist. This is my first time using it. Oh, it has a fragrance. And it just went in my eye. But it has like a smell. It smells good, like it's kind of like perfumey. And I'm not really sure how, what to make of that. I'm not big. So since I forgot <laughs> before I said everything, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the CoverGirl um, Pomade. This is in the shade 407 or 705. Where did I get four? I'm gonna go ahead and now fill in my eyebrows. As you guys knew earlier, I just went ahead and outlined them and put some mascara to set everything. But this right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some light pomade on there just to make them pop more. And putting the pomade and the mascara, it's like such a great combination because you kind of know it sticks to something and it grabs to something, if that makes sense. And this is such a lightweight um, pomade. Okay, so that is it for the Face. I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the lips. For lips today, I'm gonna be using the same thing that I used on my sister, and I first went with Mental Cosmetics Bare Brown, and I put that all over her lips. You can definitely go ahead and just wear this, but I want like more of a popping gloss effect on top of it. So I'm gonna be using the Mented Cosmetics Mauve Over, Mauve Over. I'm gonna be using that all over on top of the pinkier nude. And it's, the two combinations make the prettiest. Yeah, I went ahead and put that gloss on and I'm keeping everything. I kept the pink pretty much in the center of my lips to kind of give it that pout and fullness since everything is kind of um, just, I feel like it just finishes this look off so nice. I love the way it looks on my sister and I love the way it looks on me now. Okay, doll, this right here is the completed look. I just love the way it turned out. I feel like it's so dramatic, yet yeah, it's yet very soft. It's perfect for a summer night out or a spring night out and you're feeling very glossy, very dewy. I feel like it's everything that I love. There's glitter, there's neutrals, it's smoky, and it's glossy. So that's pretty much right up my alley, and I really wanted to go ahead and create this look for you guys. I really hope that you enjoy watching it. So be you, love you, always, always. Stay beautiful, dolls. Bye.